Hi my beautiful friends. I'm doing a very exciting video tonight on a really exciting animal. I have not done a poison dart frog video in a while and I've got these eight species that I'm going to be debuting over the next several months and tonight I'm going to be showing you the fantastic tiny Ranitumea veradero. I want to send a special shout out and thank you to our dear friends Rick and Melissa White out of Colorado who had this beautiful setup custom built and I came in and swooped it up. Props to them. It's got automated lighting and rain chambers and it's one thing that has helped my frogs thrive. This is the Ranitumea veradero from the low jungle in Peru. This is what would be considered a thumbnail frog. The adults reach less than an inch in length from snout to vent. I have a colony of males and females in here. These are listed on CITES, which means that the export of these animals is heavily regulated. This is to protect them as their natural habitat dwindles. It's very important that keepers study these animals and learn to reproduce them in captivity as we are doing. This is a very beautiful species that deserves to be protected as all animals do. What I'm going to do now is check my film canisters for tadpoles and pull any babies. Out of the five Veradero canisters that I pulled, I've got two tadpoles and one egg. I will date them, and I also have two older Veradero tatties. That one was neat because the father actually moved it after it was morphing from an egg to a tadpole. So that was cool. I use a little syringe bulb to clean and change the water and I feed them a very fine fish flake, my little mini spoon here, and I clean and feed them every day. And when they completely morph, I put this canister into my large enclosure if I want to add them to my colony, and they hop out when they're ready. That's Veradero reproduction in my collection. Pretty fun, huh? <laughs> 